first time trying out my selfie stick with the GoPro. Let's go ahead and change the angle real quick. How about that? Pretty cool. Let's go check out this view. It's a beautiful view. Something was just brought to my attention from a fellow CDL classmate buddy of mine. Pam Transport. I watched another guy on YouTube. Oh, this channel's called Truck and Truth. I watch this guy, and he's always exposing these companies, stuff like that. What's up with Pam Transport, man? Y'all making all this damn money. This man is a team driver. He said he's running about 6,000 miles a week. Why in the hell is he only bringing home 300, $400 checks? That's crazy, man. Y'all are raping these people, man. These guys are making all this money driving these trucks, advertising, adver advertising your company so y'all can keep hiring more drivers. You know, and then, then these, these companies, Pam Transport, CR England, paying these guys 16 cents a mile. Man, y'all are making all this money, man. That's crazy. But see, what, what got to happen is y'all guys that work for them, man, y'all got to understand that just because they got you under contract and, and they're taking $50 out of your check a week, you think you think they got you held hostage. Let me ask y'all this. That same $50 a week that they're taking out of your check and only paying you three, four hundred. Why, why can't y'all, just like I told my buddy that just called me, and I and he was actually my first referral, so so shout out to him. I just referred him to Melton, so shout shout out to him. But y'all, listen, man, y'all guys is making three, four hundred dollars, letting them take fifty dollars out of your check a week. Why not? Why not just cut the contract out, quit the company, quit the company, go work somewhere else. You got your CDL, man. They can't revoke that. Only people that can revoke your CDL is DMV if you do something stupid. So why not just cut the middleman out? Why not go make money at another company? Not even necessarily Sam Melton. There's plenty of other companies out there. But but in, in this situation, this guy wants to come to Melton. Why not go to another company, make more money, and pay and pay that same $50 that they're, that they're taking out of your check? You pay that same fifty back to them yourself, so they so they don't they don't put it on your on your uh, on your credit and put you in collections. Just something to think about, man. We got to do better, man. Stop letting these companies rape you, cause that's all they're doing. They're raping you, man. You moving their product, they're making all the money, and and their excuse for paying you a low wage is because they sent you to CDL school. Something which only cost them about maybe $1,200, if that. I mean, because pretty sure they're getting a discount. These companies fucking putting these drivers out in masses. They're not, they're not paying that much money. Hey, we got to do better, man. I was actually supposed to go to Pam. That's, that's how I met the guy. We was in CDL school together. So that's just something to think about. Y'all new drivers stuck in these contracts? This video ain't for recruitment. This video is just to open y'all eyes up. But y'all see what I'm driving. 53 foot. Y'all hear me say it all the time. Flatbed game. I think it's time for y'all to come over to the bright side. How about that? I'm out.